we had a bit of a problem over the weekend. No, it wasn't my eyeliner wings. Although that would be a problem. See, when you mess one up, there's no going back. You all know karma. My baby girl. She got hurt this weekend. See her limping? She went outside to go potty and came back in and was holding up her right rear leg. She wouldn't let it touch the ground. So the problem is getting a 100 pound German Shepherd up two flights of stairs to the garage and then into an SUV to take her to the vet. We got that done, got her into the back of the car, got her to the vet, got her out of the car, and they had to sedate her, which was not fun. I have never seen a dog cry. She actually had tears running down both eyes. She never made a noise. They did x-rays, they did an exam, and they think that her CCL, which I I guess is like an ACL in a human, is ruptured. So today, we're going to a specialty vet, an orthopedic surgeon. Why does this keep moving on me? This is making me angry. Going to an orthopedic surgeon to have her a consult done, and then hopefully, if she needs it, we can get her into surgery next week. We could let her heal on her own, but then she would always limp she would always have problems with her leg and it just wouldn't be a good situation. So what I was told is they do an implant. Look at her. She's so sweet and unsuspecting that she's going to have to get back in the car today, go to another vet all the way across town. Oh, why are you not focused? This isn't focusing on you. What's the deal? There. And they're going to look at your knee again and they may have to sedate you again. I hope not. But you've been a trooper. So far, she's been an absolute trooper. But it hurts. It hurts watching her hurt. So we're going to try and get her in the car and go to the vet. There she is in my backyard. She's on a notebook. Are you ready to go down? Do you want to go downstairs? Let's see if we can make it downstairs. Oh, my baby. I hate her going downstairs, but look at her. Karma, be careful. She wants to go outside, but we can't go outside because it freaking snowed and she'll slip and fall and she'll get hurt again. I'm so sorry you got hurt, baby. And she has her Kong and she wants to run and she wants to play and she wants to jump. But she won't be able to do that for about eight weeks after surgery. Karma, we're gonna go bye-bye. Do you want to go bye-bye to the, to the, look at her. All right. Do you have your key? Let's go. You have no idea where you're going. Hey there, and now. Yeah, taking the karma to the surgeon. Oh, it's right here. Oh. Oh. Oh, she got up there. That's right. Really, can't really can't help her. Okay, Karma. Sit down. We'll go see if you're okay. I hope they got her X-rays and can look at them from the vet yesterday because I don't want them sedating her again. because you have absolutely no idea. They came out to get Karma to take her in. We can't take her in because of COVID. 
And when she didn't want to get out of the car, it was hard to get her out. She was very hesitant. And when she got out, I think she knew she was going to be doing the same thing she did yesterday. And she took off, or tried to. We got her, she's in there. They won't let us go in there with her. I don't like that, but I understand. They're going to do blood work and try to do more x-rays. But I told them I don't want her sedated again. And so they're not gonna sedate her. And if they do need to have more x-rays, then they'll do them the day of surgery. But I'm, I'm not liking this not being able to talk to the doctor that's going to operate on her. I don't think that's cool. I have answers. We just got back from the vet taking Carmageddon to see the surgeon. The surgeon did come out. She, she called me first and I spoke with her for a little bit and then she did come out to the car, which put me at ease. She seems wonderful. She's very friendly. She really seems to have a lot of expertise in this. So Karma is scheduled for surgery January the 10th. I am so impressed with these people. Veterinary Surgical Centers of Portland. They have given us, oh my gosh, all of this paperwork and even rehab facilities afterwards so she can start with, I guess, physical therapy. And I asked her all sorts of questions. First of all, she said Karma was very well behaved and very helpful and was just an excellent dog, which she is, even though she tried to run away when she knew she was gonna go in there. But once in there, she did well. But what they're doing is a tibial plateau leveling osteotomy, os I don't know, whatever, surgery. And no, <laughs> this is gonna be hard. No stairs, running, or jumping for six to eight weeks. Now, when we got home, Carmen wanted to go into the backyard. What, she wanted me to throw her Kong. When I wouldn't throw her Kong, she threw it at me and huffed inside, went in and threw herself on the floor. So this is what they're going to do because she completely ruptured. Her, her cranial cruciate, cruciate ligament is completely torn. So they're going to go in and they're actually going to restructure the bone. They're not going to put an implant in like the other place was. They're going to restructure the bone. And when I asked the vet what to expect af afterward, like in terms of recovery, if Karma was going to be able to do the things that she does now. She's very active, she runs, she jumps, she's very, very athletic. The doctor told us that what she does is surgeries on hunting dogs and athletic dogs and mountain climbing dogs. And so Karma should be able to do exactly what she does now after she's healed. They gave us an itemized sheet listing every single thing and the price before surgery. They don't do that for humans. I was like really super, super impressed. Karma was glad to get the heck out of there and get home. So now, we're okay, today is December the 28th. Her surgery is January 10th. It's gonna be a long couple of weeks waiting to get her in. And then her recovery, the two weeks afterwards, she's gonna have to be leashed to do anything because I have to be able to, to keep her under control. She totally embarrassed me. I mean, here she is, my service dog, trained service dog, and she knew she was at the hospital and she tried to run away. It's like, oh my gosh, Karma, get back here. Anyway, they, they said she was very helpful, that she was very friendly, she was very well socialized, very healthy, her heart was very healthy, and everything looks good. The main thing is I am freaking out because she's my baby and I don't want anything to happen to her, so says your your pet will need to be confined to a small room or crate for the next six to eight weeks. If you have other pets in the house, keep them separated. They don't know karma. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but we're gonna we're gonna do it. She's too big for her crate. I can't put her in her crate. That's that's just not nice. She stays with me after my surgeries and stuff. I can't do that to her. 
but it looks like it's good. I really like the doctor. Her name's Dr. Chaffee at Veterinary Surgical Center of Portland. Come here, Geddon. Karma. Karma Geddon. There she is. Karma, come. Hey, sit, sit. Here is the champion dog. She's wonderful. Gonna go for surgery and do really, really well. Right now, all she wants to do is to play with her toy. Watch her face. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Oh, be careful, Car Karma. It's gonna be fun, those two weeks after surgery. Peace.